Today's video, my secret sauce on how to stop aging. Hi, I'm Christian Choi and I just turned 55 in one of my in my earlier video, I asked you to guess my age, so I'm revealing right now, I am 55. I know I'm very often uh, mistaken for maybe in my 40s and 45, and in fact, when I was 50, I took a trip to New York just to celebrate my uh, 50th birthday, and uh, you know, the bellman called me and my wife, kids. He said, hey kids, and uh, okay, I turned around. And I looked at him, I don't know if it was a racial remark or anything, but you know, I took it in good stride. Today, I'm going to share with you scientifically what I did to stop my aging. So you know I'm big on epigenetics and epigenetics says that uh, what you think and how you think can actually instruct your cells and how it progresses. So if you look at this picture of this famous NASA astronauts uh, Scott and Mark Kelly, they are identical twins. But if you look a bit closer, they look, a sli they look slightly different because, because they were brought up in different environments and how they behave toward their environment um, eventually manifests on their face. So as you can see, Scott has a bigger jawline and that gives me the impression that he is a more authoritative person. He's probably a lot more fierce and he would not be a pushover. As for Mark, his smaller jawline tells me he would be more friendly than his brother. When you see all these pictures of drug addicts before and after, it gives you a very potent sign that medicine, your environment, your indoctrination, how you think and how you perceive your environment affects and manifests on your face. So a good guy usually looks like a good guy, and a bad guy usually look like a bad guy, except for some cases when they are schizophrenic or they are psychopathic, then I did a video on that. Okay, but by and large, when you see these four pictures here, and the first one on the top left is actually our Prime Minister Lee Sin Long, and this is droopy eyes, and immediately you say, oh, he's, he's very weary, he's probably gone through some hard patch in his life, and you are right, because you know what happened? You, you, you actually saw many people with the same feature, with the same behavior. This is like big data, okay? And uh, it is right, because when you're sad and you're weary, your eyelids come down, and I'm gonna to explain to you why. And when you look at Angela Merkel, there's a very strong grief line here. It tells me that uh, she's lost something very uh, important to her. That's on her left side. On her career side, it wasn't smooth sailing all the way. And this is confirmed by her droopy eyelids, just like Prime Minister Lee Sin Lo. And as you look at the bottom left, uh, Lady Parker Bowl, uh, she's got near-death experience and that's, um, that's manifested by the lines that you see on the lips. The guy on the right with the heavy eye bags, people say there's not enough sleep and all those, but if you go deeper into medicine, uh, there is a um, lack of sodium, there is a kidney issue, etc. Okay, so what we're going to share with you today is how to reduce all these things and uh, why it, this actually happens. So when you see this picture of, Bar of Barack Obama running away from a lion, and let me explain to you. So if on a normal day, your body's functioning well, your heart's beating uh, normally, and uh, your body sends resources to your immune system to fight against virus and so on. Okay, so during sleep is the time where your body repairs best. That's why they say sleep's essential because everything else shuts down and the body says, okay, we don't need resource for any other thing. Just send all the resources to repair the body. Now on the flip side, when you see a lion, the body suddenly shuts up all resources to every unessential part and sends all resources to the legs and the muscles so that you can get you can have a quick getaway. You understand what I'm saying? So this is a flight or fight response, and in this case, you're in the imminent danger because as a lion, your body sends all the resources to your legs so that you can run with superhuman strength. At that point, Everything else shuts down, your immunity shuts down, the repair shuts down. So you reference this to a country at war. Before war, they can have their McDonald's, they can have their retail store and so on. But when the enemy is attacking at the border, all these unessentials were shut down and even some of the, the retail staff and the owners may don on um, military uniform and fight at the border. Okay, so the women might start working at war factories and so on because 
It is, isn't about all this luxury right now, it's about survival. So in the same case, when you see a lion and you need to run, all your immunity is shut down and the resources is given to your uh, flight response. Now based on this theory, the longer you are in this fear environment, anxiety, anger, hatred, all these negative emotions, the longer your body shuts resources to fix you. Okay? You got that? Okay, so the secret sauce here is how long are you in the unhappy zone and how long are you in the happy zone? So that's the basis of my talk today. How long do I keep myself in the happy zone? So these are the happy chemicals, D-O-S-E. I give talks to corporate and I, I title this talk, The Daily Dose of Happiness. Dose is the acronym for dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. We call these the happy chemicals. I can go into details to explain to you what these are, but at the end, we'll just reference all these four chemicals as the happy chemicals. Okay, so what's dopamine? Dopamine is a reward chemical, which means every time you complete a task, you feel, wow, you, you feel a sense of accomplishments. That great feeling is the emission of these happy chemicals. So instead of getting a repairman to fix your roof, you decided to do it yourself. And after you do it yourself, you say you have a great sense of satisfaction. And your, your family's like, why do you want to do that, dad? You, you know, you, you risk your life and you, you can afford to, to hire the repairman. You say, I just want to do it on my own. So they have a sense of accomplishment. That sense of accomplishment is because there's an emission of dopamine and it can be quite a, a pleasurable feeling and even maybe addictive. So uh, these are the activities that will emit dopamine. Doing self-care activities, eating your favorite food, rewarding yourself, buying something, uh, winning in a competition, and of course being admired. So we're going to go into uh, real examples very shortly. And then there's oxytocin. Oxytocin is what people call the love chemical. So you fall in love, your family loves you, your dog loves you, These, all these emit uh, oxytocin. Okay, so we're going to show you how to hack the love chemical. Then there's serotonin, which is the mood stabilizer. Um, so you can imagine there will be things like meditation, playing calming music, doing pampering things like going to a spa, going for a massage, and going for a holiday where you just breathe in the scenery and having cool wind blowing in your face. And then serotonin is uh, emitted. And the last one is E, and that's endorphins. Endorphins is a painkiller, okay? So you're feeling depressed and you need a painkiller. What do people do? Sometimes they eat their favorite food, like ice cream. They watch a hilarious movie. They dress up looking good. They hear perk me up music. Okay, so you understand all these things? All these things put you in the happy zone or get you out of the unhappy zone. All right, so let me give you the first example. So you see on YouTube and other social media that people fight on the streets and you call them Karens and Cans and all those. You know what the issue is? It's about their ego. So they want to stroke their ego and so they go into a fight and you know, some of the cultures just sort of talk about the freedom of speech so they, do, they have to speak because it's the matter of the principle and a cop stops you and you don't want to give your identification. I don't need, I have my human right not to give my identification. Fine. That's your choice. But today I want to share with you that there are two things. Your ego is shouting, hey, hey, stroke it, man, stroke me. I'm the ego, stroke me. But your heart is saying, you're hurting me, okay? Because each time you feel anger, the inside's hurting, although your ego seems to be, you know, winning, your heart is actually screaming, don't torture me. So what I want you to be aware is, what percentage of the day are you in angry zone? And what percentage are you in happy zone? The longer you are in the happy zone, all the positive chemicals is uh, excreted into your body and that reduces the, the wrinkles and the stress lines and all the kind of all the diseases that's uh, related to stress. Okay, so here are some of the hacks that I'm going to share with you. Now, for a visual treat, when you look at something nice, you actually feel good, don't you? That's why people like to look at pretty women or great scenery and even your own home, between an untidy home and a, a nicely decorated home. 
Some people say, what's the point? Uh, it's still functional. Yes, functional and being uh, a, a pleasure to look at are really two different rewards. Yes, it is functional, but some people, you can wear any shirt that you want, but you can wear a nice shirt that makes you look nice. Both are functional, but one makes you feel different. So in the same way, when you take a bit of effort to decorate your room or your home, uh, you feel different. And in the same way, when you have a nice haircut, when you look better, you put on makeup, when you go out there, you feel different. Don't you, you, don't you feel different when you look different? In, and then when you go for a holiday, uh, sometimes my wife say, why spend so much money going for the holiday when you can watch it on YouTube? Because the intensity is totally different to be there and getting that wow effect, having that smell of that location, the, the temperature, the, the sense of touch. Okay, and most importantly, listen to me, when you go for a holiday, you think you just blew $20,000 on a two-week holiday. No, there's something that you bring back and that's called a memory. And each time when you are relaxed and you think back about that holiday, don't you recall the great feelings? And you say, oh, I, I love that holiday so much. That's what you paid for and it may last a lifetime. Well, it lasts as far as your memory can, <laughs> can sustain it. Okay, so it's just not about that, that two-week holiday, but it's about the experience and the experience that you can replay. And each time you replay, do you kind of feel that same sensation again? Okay, that is what we're talking about, hacking the feeling. Okay, that is why people are paying for experiences. So you can eat at a roadside store just you know, for practicality and functionality, you pay a cheaper price. And then there are hipster cafes and nice opulent restaurants that you go for the experience. So for that two hours while you're having that meal and you're enjoying it, you have to enjoy it because if you can't afford it, then you are actually struggling to get through that meal. If you're enjoying it, then you're also meeting one of those four happy chemicals. Does it make sense? Okay, so when you are uh, listening to music and you know, my daughter just recently went for this Oliver Rodrigo concert. What's it, Oliver Rodrigo? Oliver Rodrigo, is it? Billy Irish. Oh no, sorry, it was Billy Irish. She went for a Billy Irish concert. And you know, it was like stampede and she fainted three times. And uh, I was so worried for her, you know, so it was packed. And she, uh, Billy Irish was in Singapore. Our, in our national stadium and it was jam-packed. She's got really front row standing uh, positions. And at the end, uh, she went back and she got more air. And I said, that must be a harrowing experience, don't you think so? She said, uh, wow, it was quite an experience. I said, would you do it again? She said, yeah, it was amazing. Okay, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so people, uh, if you enjoy that experience, through her lenses or through her experience, she, she enjoyed it. As a father, I said like, Okay, whatever. If it makes you happy, that's when you emit one of those happy chemicals. Okay, so in the same way when a mother uh, uh, smells a child, smells the scent of a child, that's called pheromones, by the way. Okay, why are mothers so addicted and you always see the mother smelling the child? The child, the baby emits a certain kind of pheromone that triggers the mother into this oh, very... Um, Aesthetical, aesthetical, I don't even want name, what word to use. Uh, and then uh, it stimulates the milk duct and uh, she, she uh, starts producing milk. So in the same way why mothers bring their baby clothes to the office when she needs to express the milk is because of this olfactory uh, effect. In your case, you could buy nice expensive scents uh, put in the home, each time you smell it, you really feel different. That goes for the same as when you smell melted butter or, or a nice fresh uh, coffee aroma, um, new leather seats from your brand new car. All those emit happy chemicals. When you have a dog and you hold the dog, it's that same pleasure why adults like to, can I hold that baby? And if you don't have that maternal instinct, like why do adults want to hold baby? so cuddly. Why? Because the moment when they hold that baby, they actually emit all these happy chemicals. You follow me so far? And another idea is, you know, like good furniture. Yeah, you can buy a cheap table, a plastic table, and it, it works. But when you buy an expensive table and you look at it and you admire it, you just, oh, I just so love this table. 
and you can love any other things like your jewelry or your handbag or your wallet or whatever okay you say oh i love this table so much uh, that gives you the happy chemicals okay so in the same way when you're in a good relationship the your your partner gives helps you emit the happy chemicals and when the relationship turns sour then it emits all the toxic chemicals some people when uh, they feel sad they, they eat and the reason is why because they are indulging in this uh, epicural gastronomic experience and it's great uh, it's a temporary relief nevertheless it is a relief so people can go watch a stand-up comedian and make them happy and they listen to good music they just chill out at the park and uh, do whatever they need go for go to a spa uh, at the end of this video and i hope it has benefited you so much uh, that is my question is what do you allow in your head and what do you allow in your life that will decide the type of external look that you're gonna have when people look at you and say you look like a happy person and uh, that's me and i do okay and if you look so weary and people say what's the matter with you and you know what weary people and angry people uh look angry and you say i want to stay away from that guy because he's always having that downturn smile yep go talk to the person the person probably that inside Okay, so at the end of the day, uh, I want to ask you this question. Can money buy happiness? According to my definition, probably can. Okay, so if you buy a handbag, it makes you happy, then it brought you some measure of happiness. How long does it last? That's a good question. Because a lot of people say, hey, Christian, if you buy something, uh, it doesn't give you lasting, long-lasting happiness. Then what does? Can you put in the comment, tell me what gives you everlasting happiness? What? Okay, so in my next video, I'll probably want to talk about diet. Diet, okay, does, diet, does a diet affect how young you look? It probably does. And one of the interesting things, in, including Dr. Eric Berg, he's talked about Chinese food and how bad MSG is. We take MSG and people say, because of the high content of MSG, you're going to lose your hair. Uh, Asians usually don't go bald. I'm 55 full set of hair. So what is the secret behind that? I'll see you in the next video. Needless to say, if you like the video, subscribe.